late to rotate, block's gonna be affected. So if you're not clearing your hips, the trail leg is gonna shoot forward instead of staying in extension. This is a huge piece to me. This is probably your biggest breakdown in terms of losing of the power output and injury prevent. So if we look at the why the trail leg is shooting forward instead of staying in extension, which what we want, um, like I said, the, the timing of the hips rotating, if we're late to rotate our hips, this is gonna be something that happens because we don't clear our hips and then anchor down to stay in extension, right? So we anchor down and then we still gotta start keep rotating uh, which could pull that lead or that trail leg forward you're also going to be behind the lead knee right so you're not getting as full extension and flexion of the trunk as possible which also can aid into the acceleration aspect of the arm all right um so about the late hip rotation i think this could be you know looked at from the initial move Right. So as soon as you lift your leg, I know it gets a little bit blurry, like it's a quick lift. You, I would think a lot of people would say you have, have a high tempo delivery, but you, you don't really shift any of your body going down the slope. Right. I know this is, is unfair sometimes, but when I compare it with the Grammy, does so many things well. So the shifting of the body, the center mass, as we get into our leg lift, right? So before reaching the peak of our leg lift, our body's shifting down the slope. It's basically triggering uh, our brain say, hey, like, we're going to be going. we got to make sure these things are snapping. we got to make sure these things are on time. So it triggers the hips to rotate at the appropriate time, all right? I group guys a lot of times, you know, w with energy production systems, are we going to be an accelerator or are we going to be a driver? I would say you're very similar to, to a guy like DeGrom in terms of the movement, the limbs, the length, and the stretch, right? So I would actually like to see you get a little bit shifty like DeGrom does here in the initial move to then allow for A, uh, timing of the hip rotation more efficiently, right? And then B, creating more rotational energy. If you just look at the amount of stretch he's creating here at full anchor point, right? All right, dudes, Robbie Rowe here. Thank you for watching that video. If you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis, you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched if you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys. Much love. God bless. Till next time. See ya. Strike three. You're out.